Hello again YouTube, John Woon here from the Royal Astrologist here to bring you our next installment for the Astro Question and Answers on the 17th of September. Thank you all so much again for writing in so many lovely emails. I promise I'll get to all of them and get your answers out posted on YouTube as quick as I can. Alright, let's get on with today's segment. First up we've got from username Karma12 and Karma12 asks that he is keen to buy a car and in fact will be hunting for one soon. Is this actually a good time? Well, Kamachov, in your chart, transiting Mars is actually making contact with your natal moon. You will succeed in getting that automobile of your dreams. However, not without going through some emotional turbulence and causing a bit of um, arguments among those who, who would be involved in you getting your car. My suggestion is that use that brand new car, that shiny, beautiful brand new car, and take those who have helped you out, out to have a nice group dinner together. This will sell everything and everyone will celebrate for you on your brand new purchase. Next up, we've got from username G79 and he asks, John Woon, my wife is overdue for birth for our first child. When would the child best be born in your charts? Well, G79, the moon's transiting through the houses takes an average of about two to three days. And through my experience, it is when this transiting moon actually comes into contact with your natal moon and natal sun. Thus, given a brief overview of your chart, the first three days of October actually looks very likely for you to be holding your bundle of joy. So keep the chin up, alright? Next up, we've got from username RJ23, and he asks, or she, Will my soulmate who cheated on me return? Well, RJ23, now, with Saturn returned to your natal third house, this signifies a resolution towards communication and practical matters. Now, these matters can and should be settled as quick as possible. Also, with Ju Jupiter in touch with your natal Venus, as I'm seeing here, this highlights a great love affair actually about to blossom for you. And also, well, great money luck as well. So you'll be seeing the upside of both things. I'd get my arms ready and open if I were you, and in fact, don't be surprised if wedding bells ring and you, you guys plan to have kids just to seal that special deal. So keep your chin up again, yeah? Next, we've got a question from, oh, sorry, pardon. Last of all, for today's segment, we've got a question from Sawadee Kim. And Sawadee Kim asks that she's just had a sad passing in the family. Would that have been picked up in astrology? Well, Sawadee Kim, yes, it has. Rahu is in transit through your fourth house as of late, and this has shown a sudden death in the family has had come to pass. Now, Rahu in the fourth house represents a sudden parting of passing within the home or someone regarded as part of the family. With that, we do send our deepest condolences and we wish you the very best for the year to come. Well, with all said and done, we're actually done with today's segments. I thank you all once again for your many emails. We will be looking forward to more of your emails for the next week's following uh, Astro Question and Answers. Till then, stay healthy, stay fit and stay happy. I'm John Woon from the Royal Astrologist. Thank you very much.